Greetings operatives and welcome back to Battletech. We have moved planets, if I may show. We came from this planet in Smoke Jaguar over here to Kudo. Uh, from Actually from Kudo to Bushmill. As you can see we've been to almost every one of the clan's territories before to do some missions there. Only the last one on the chopping block is going to be Jade Falcon. Which is going to be interesting. We've explored a lot of the inner sphere, and yes, I'll get to you once I have the proper mechs. Um, yeah, the last flash, the last mission on the flashpoint is <sighs> the last mission in this flashpoint is upon us, and I want to make absolutely sure that I have the best mechs of the bunch for that one because that one is difficult. As Tyler can I attest. Know. I should know. Yes, it is what one might call the what the fuck kind of fun, which is not fun. You mean the what what the fuck kind of difficult? Anyway, uh, we're upgrading to we're upgrading um, an otherwise useless part of uh, the gamma pod. Let me uh, as, and I quote: "When you have a large space with nothing critical in it." Where the gravity is too low for living quarters, the obvious choice is to fill it with chlorinated water. To quote Sam <laughs> Samiri, Commander, come on, low gravity swimming pool. I don't know what there even is to discuss here. I agree. Let's do it. Sure thing. It'll take a bit. Hooray! Anyway, swimming pool. My commander's still going to be out for twelve days, so Kenji's going to take the helm on the mission. Boop, boop. Which, by the way, uh, both Kenji and Chris now have level 9 tactics, which gives them call shot mastery. Got something you want done? Yes, I want no, you to go and lead a victorious no, mission. Anyway, no, we're doing this advantage. mission for Razzlehag. Decapitation. Hopefully we can take advantage of that extra fucking call shot hit chance by shooting instead of punching. Yes. Um, alright. Um, Kenji, you are Lance Leader. Um, Zoe, you're coming with, that's for damn sure. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. I'm debating whether or not I should take the Ola along. I think I'm gonna take the Ola along. It is the Sniper Oler. QQ. With a PPC and an AC5. Uh, that sounds Cody. like a snipper. Okay, what do we have left? We have 45 tons left. We don't have any mech that, that fits those metrics. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of where the limitations start coming in, you see? Yeah, but that's good because that means I have to strategize which, which mechs I take with, I think. We're finding planners. I, if we're finding planners, taking the stalker is kind of a counterproductive idea. Don't you have max of 450? All oh, right, 450, not 350. I'm sorry. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I say I look at him like wait. I'm confused. I'm gonna say I know. I know you want to limit yourself, but I don't think we're that limited. I'm pretty sure we still have a bit of room to work with here. Wait, if we're gonna take the... Hmm... The sharpshooter doesn't have jump jets. That's also where a problem comes in. Not everything has jump jets. Doesn't... Unless you remove them, doesn't the dragon technically have jump jets? Right! It does. I mean... He won't be in the first slot, but he's still the lance leader. He just he has, has to move stay in the, the second. He has to stay here. He has to. I'm, it's 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 law. It's, it's tradition. All right, fair enough. Um. <laughs> let's go, let's go for let's go for strength and numbers. Fair enough. I was, I was gonna be like, at first it's gonna be like, maybe you can just have him pilot something else then and give someone else a dragon. I'm like, wait, no, it's his family dragon. I don't think he's gonna give that shit up anytime soon. Not likely. 
<laughs> I think he's like, it's, no it's, like with Su like it's like with Susan's overpowered Timberwolf. There's only one person allowed to pilot them. <laughs> like, no offense, this is like my heritage. You, you can pilot the Panther all you want, but this is mine. Exactly. Anyway, 430 tons, three star difficulty, assassination against clanners. Let's hope this doesn't go to shit. Command interface initiated. These are the coordinates the rest of the heck provided, so the insurgent leader should be in this area. Alright. Let's get to fighting. I agree with Zoe. Let's get to fighting. <laughs> what she said. Let us go assassinate a high value wolf target. Acknowledged. Also, I want to, for full transparency, say something. I've been messing around with some of the JSON files. And I found out how to make uh, Death from Above attacks a bit more accurate. Keep your eyes peeled, Commander. This looks like an ideal place for an ambush. Alright. Which is good, because Death from Above normally is very freaking stupid and a waste of time. I also reduced the... Because, as it turns out, um... I copy. Oh. Oh. Quick, uh, uh -oh. give him... Quick, give him cover! <laughs> oh no, oh, what way. do we find? What do we find? A mech. Alright. What kind of mech? A what mech. The answer is nothing. I just realized that I accidentally put Servo in Buddy and Claymore in the Warmaster, despite the way that it's, despite the fact that it definitely should be the other way around. Oopsies. Waiting for the right move. Something tells me that they're not gonna like moving until you do. Oh, wait, maybe. You say, but there's enemy activity, obviously. Okay, look, they're reserving at first, and I thought they were gonna just wait you out, alright? Shut. The guy who already has radar contact with us is, but that's not stopping me. For orders. Uh, it, must be the it must be the group we haven't seen yet that's moving. Roger that. Get us a line of sight, but don't fire yet. What are we dealing with? A vulture, a prime. Multiple pulses oh and, boy, and multiple L and M pulses and LR LRMs. Oh boy. They really love their pulses, don't they? Jeez. Stand in by. Hey. Fire in. <laughs> Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. Oops. Waiting for order. Lifting up. I'm staying within this fucking field. Nah. You're in perfect range to fire everything with maximum efficiency. Fire! Ten four. <laughs> Got you. This guy's so. What? Okay, that was an eight. How are these guys able to fire ACs at that range? Goodness fucking gracious! Receiving you. It's gotta be at least a ten. There's no way a twenty could fire that far. Copy that. It did sound like a twenty like a though, 10. so it's just like. Ugh. That can't Limited. be right though. That was a full salvo hit. Yes. It's a ve That's a vehicle. Aye, aye. Oh, the planners don't use vehicles, though. We'll go. What? They... 
No, not that I know of. Well, they're all about their OPAF max because it's clan tech. Oh, do you mean, I thought you meant lore wise. Targeting for an alpha device. Oh. No, I meant gameplay. I mean, in lore, maybe, but I'm pretty sure gameplay They got a no bunch of vehicles here. Good to go. And unless I'm blind, that other vehicle, I think, just said 80 tons. There's an assault vehicle back there. Location confirmed. All right, Bull Shark, give him all you got. Firing all weapons. Ooh, that ooh, looked like ooh, a full ooh, sample ooh. head. And something is definitely exposed. Waiting on you, Commander. Now to follow up. Ordnance received. Uh-huh. Let's get this done. Oh! <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yes, Claymore, Cody, we, we definitely saw that all right. Good gracious, my dude. 45 tonner coming in. A fenway. I've been sensor locked. Oh, that's it. Of course they sensor locked the goddamn timber wall. I'm here. Well, that's just rude. I. Oi, stop that. It's not funny. Ten four. Shite, that didn't mean much. Oh, 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 oh. It's not good. They're getting two people's two people's reinforcements back there. Order. Oh, really? Forty-five, fifty. What's the fifty? Got a lock. Hunchback two. Oh boy. All coming out of, out of the woodworks. Goodness. These missions are, in no sense of the word, easier. <laughs> Awaiting orders. There's one good Did thing about me. There's one good thing here, though. On my way. They Thanks to Kenji Sensor Mark. They, they may not be spamming heavy their souls, but they're still using clan tech. Yeah, that thing has two UACs. I don't. This, those are probably UAC 20s, aren't they? Of course. Mm hmm. Good to go. That's your accuracy. It's not good, not but bad. it's something. Clan tech in a nutshell, because fuck you, fuck off. Well, yes, somehow managed to expose it and hit. crit one of them. Standing by. I'm not sure how you pulled that off, but good job. Yeah, boy. Get crit, yeah, bitch. Are you kidding me? Stray shot and expose something on the damage. Raven. I'm taking Boy. internal damage. What did? Oh, okay, it's the useless arm. Thank fuck for that. Okay. Commander. Well, uh, when nothing else works, especially when you have a lot of enemies. By the way, I just want to re reaffirm the fact that every that every single enemy group that that the game spawns of the clanners always has at least two additional uh, one additional mech. Fire down range. So we're always getting one additional because enemy per enemy group. Because clan lances love to have a party of five for some reason, because, not because a party of four. It's a star lance. <gasps> Hi. And they missed. I think they. What can I do for you? My, I'm gonna be honest. When I saw the target. My heart skipped a beat for a second, but then I saw that, that their health bar was literally unfazed. They took no damage, period. 
How did the mortar strike not break off the already exposed torso, though? Are you kidding me? Let's change that. Time to die. Could you Cody. lie? Cody. Hey, at least it's already moved, so we can't fire again. We have all the chance to pummel it some more. It's <clears throat> an LRM-5. Still miss, but that's a lot more regardless. Hey, uh, Commander? Kenji, you won. You have a full resolve bar if you want to start making use of it. Engage and jump jet. There we go. You crit it. I some heavy damage. Torso's not even broken, you just managed to crit it again. Ready to get it on. Ooh. Let's make use of that ma master cold shot of yours. Yes. I got me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Pretty sure he exposed it. Commander? Now you just do I'm the follow-up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That I, think, I, think good. That's, I think that's both of them, right? Is that both of them? I only hit. They've got a sensor lock I destroyed what was already exposed. That means one of them is out complete. No, you were right. You were right. There was. There's no UAC because... on that mech left. I'm receiving you. The right side. The right side was exposed first, so you crit that one. Ten so four. I figured if you broke it without breaking the arm off, then that was the one you crit oh. again. Because weapons need two crits to die. Yep, yep, yep. Guard a critical hit. Also nice. She blew out. She blew out its leg. Nice. Blew out. She blew out its leg. Oh, that's a. Is... They've got a sensor lock on me. Sneaky oh, bastard. All of he literally got all of us safe for the Raven. Standing by. Oh, that... That piece of shit. Well, in that case, uh, who's left? Who's gonna still oh that's a Puma and that's a black hawk. My accuracy is complete dog shit, why is that? Senses impaired one. Target moved. Oh fuck! This thing has plus ten difficulty to hit. That has five evasion. Yeah, good gracious. Maybe uh, shoot the uh, the hunchback is no longer a concern. Have an I idea. Guess if you want to just Have an idea. On the move. Numbers control is still important. We don't want this guy suddenly pummeling one of our mechs. Yeah, I was about to say, unless you want numbers control. Engaging multiple enemies. Also, you might notice that um, I've been playing. I might have been playing mm -hmm. around a bit too much with the Eni stuff, but um, losing a leg now, critical hit. now gives you two point uh, two stripes of permanent stability damage. Why? What? Oh wait, wait, what? You did? How did you do that? I just increased the stability. Uh oh, that's an arc. I hear ya. I do have a one question. Why? Because it makes sense. You you lost a leg. I, just like you just did. What the more? Speaking, huh? speaking of losing legs, I guess you make a point, but eh. leave Zoe alone. I mean, that's one way of leading Zoe alone, but the Panther can't really take that much damage. Fuck you! Getting banged up real good. Yes, Commander. The fact that these Define guys are so uh, are, are such reliable shots that they can, uh, they can hit some, some of my light uh, makes this persistently is kind of annoying me. Uh. Acknowledged. 
Yep, I forgot the goal system. Never mind. Enemy down. Still damn vehicles. Uh oh. That's definitely a 20. That's definitely a. I think. Wait, did that miss? I thought it, it hit did. Us. It missed. Something saw our damage number. It was something hit, but not the the AC. They find something else. Yeah, that. Okay, I'm the You need to lose. Well, you need hurt. to lose some of those weapon systems. Yeah, that's a lot. God, that is ridiculous. And since my aim on you is absolute dog shit, um, I'm gonna go punch. Punchy, punchy. I get you on the move. This senses were technically still impaired, ah. even though it was a new turn. Well, there goes some of his weapons. Reporting critical hit. Yeah, even though it was a new turn, his senses were still impaired. That's weird. I'm here. Um, hold on. Actually, move here. Location confirmed. Cool yourself down. And tag mark a bitch. Sensor locked on. Receiving you. I do have a clan flamer, really? Can I get enough range to get an M. Thank you. Since our resolve right now is absolutely through the roof. Well. <laughs> that works too. <laughs> Zoe just yes, shrugs it off. Well, then again, if I were her, I, I would already know what this thing's about. <laughs> what, 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 what thing? What this thing has in store for it? Can you? Oh, that might be back, or at least the Target almost back. Commander. Enderwolf. Those Attempting physical attack. <laughs> Kick them. You want to reconsider your options yet? That's an LBX. You know, that's actually the smartest way to use an LBX. Nothing. You hear me? <laughs> They're getting an angle on me. Apparently, Cody does not care. Regardless, also, how dare you try to backflank us? You missed horribly, but how dare you all the same? Waiting on you, Commander. Affirmative. I'm mostly mailing these mofos, but fuck good. it. If it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Back uh, Show them what you got. Thank you, Kenji. Thank you for the inspirational quote alongside this magnificent kill. <laughs> Bitch. Give him a rally cry. Ready for orders. What are orders? Move order Stomp received. on gem- uh, Stomp- <laughs> Gemblon, yes. Stomp on goblin. Targeting for physical attack. It's the first Goblin time I've ever seen a mech actually stomp on one of these things physically Vehicle and not down. just, you know, stomp near it. <laughs> oh, that's a, a pattern? 65. That was a 65 damage shot, so it's an AC 10. <gasps> in a <laughs> Fuck, that's an infernal carrier! What the fuck? Inward Nard, Inward Nard, Inward Nard. Oh, oh. That could have been worse. Zoe, you are taking this in stride. Commander? I'm, I am highly respectful of that, but at the same time, also get your 
get yourself in an angle where you're not getting shot in the back. Moving out. Oh, for fuck's sake, Aww. you bitch. Oh. Attack failed. Did you see? Did you see that? Was that just me? What did you see? Standing by. The way he stepped aside made that one like seem like it just kind of. Good to go. Oh, maybe I'm just going crazy. But I thought I saw one of the legs clipped. Weird. Yes, if that's what you mean. Yeah, that. Very yeah, good. So I wasn't alone. I haven't used these jump jets in, 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 in any proficient way yet, so let's go do that. Especially since Kenji currently doesn't really need to worry about heat. Keep moving. <laughs> basic, uh, basic ass instinct of any light mech. Just keep running. Targeting. That was multiple breaching shots, or rather, multiple shots into the yes, internal. Commander. What are we dealing with here? There's another unknown vehicle. There's the pattern. Yes, it has an AC-10. And a flamer for some Order. ungodly now reason. Kick. Awaiting orders. Roger that. Let's see how they like It's hurting. It's uh, hurting. They've got a lock on me. Okay, well that's just rude. Order. Could you like not do that, please? Heading out. Hi there, Patton. Oh, the Patton. So how the hell did you miss a 95 for the goals? Uh, you got a question. Which I cannot answer. Are you... Are you a locust? No, but I mean... Ah, uh, you... Did, did the flamer miss? What can I do for you? I think the flamer missed. Well, good for the flame. How... I don't uh -huh. know how, but it did. Nice. Tell me what to shoot. Well, now it's dead. I feel bad about shooting the little guy. <laughs> What? Wait! Uh-oh. 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 Oh, minor damage. Uh, you can fry an egg in here. They're just basic infernos. They don't feel that much heat for a missile. Yeah, otherwise they would have shut down my plane and came out of it. Fucking Jesus. I think we've gotten so used to our overpowered versions of the infernos that these we forget that these guys are very basic ones. Basic infernos aren't that good. Putting my weight into it. And left also left arm, left leg. Scored a critical hit. So he's all right. CT. No, no, he, he's not all right. Actually, not CT. No. RT. No, not CT. The, the pilot's you just dead. The... I'm ready for you orders. Just, you just dealt so many injuries that the pilot is dead. From range! Reading you. Where it comes, hit you! Oh, order receipt. Otherwise, we're in big, big ass trouble. Affirmative. It's almost 
dead. Standing by. Kill the fire! Where do you do you mean kill it with fire? No! <laughs> Affirmative. I think that's on target. Yeah, well, maybe. Is that it? I'm barely scratched. Cody, don't Cody, fucking you're... tempt fate. <laughs> Cody, you're currently I roasting right now. You're literally in moving to position. Being roasted. Smoke them. Uh, no, you're the one smoking currently. Yes, Commander. I still have taken over that line. I feel so bad killing the little guy. I never heard that line before. Confirm. Uh, almost, does that feel like a Cody thing to say? Uh, someone, yeah. Oh, I like and this. Two, three. Brutus, in vehicular Waiting form. Waiting for orders. Now, if only they had a big knife strap to this thing. Confirm. And then use it against the Caesar mech. <laughs> yes! It comes full circle. Just full out on the damn thing. Locking in all weapons. Oh, it burns the tight armor, but alright. Let's go. Dead anyways. Reporting vehicle destroyed. Well, how does Kinji's the leader? He's giving, he's giving all these like lines, he's giving all those like hoorah lines Order. to help like cheer? No, not cheer. Cheer sounds like the wrong word here. Um, to motivate. Copy that. But yeah, yeah, that, that, that. He, he's Commander? an officer. He's gonna act on like one by supporting his fellow units. Yes, Commander. Location confirmed. Everyone get into the ECM field. Don't let them see us. Waiting for orders. In the Roger. shadow. Roger, eat. It's a 75. You wanna... Anyone wanna take guess? It's got a lock on me. Oh. Standing by. Is it a mad cat? Received. Well, whatever it is, we're gonna preemptively strike it. First, it's playing Wolf in 75 tons. What else could it be? There's no Our way this thing isn't a match. Is oh, crutch it. Timberwolf. Oh, it's a. F Waiting on you, Commander. Pedal to the metal. Somehow not mine. Yep, it's a Timber Wolf. Uh, I, yep, I am. Yep, I, I knew it. I'm letting the boss. Clan Wolf. For tactical advantage. Clan Wolf in 75 tons. Name a better duo. I'll wait. I swear, you see a 75 under Clan Wolf, you know it's just gonna be a goddamn mad cat. I. That's like their fucking iconic mech. What's up, boss? Hell, not just for Clan Wolf. I feel like that's like the, the clan most mech. iconic mech. Yeah, it, it's just the most iconic mech for the Clanners, period. Not just Clan I, I, Wolf. The I most iconic Inner Sphere mech is definitely the Atlas, but the most, I uh, the most iconic Clan mech is the Mad Cat. Good thing we have one too. <laughs> Waiting for orders. Copy oh, that. brother. Scroll about to just like a smackdown on this mofo. Oh, Copy that. God. All of them hit. They did? What can I do for you? <laughs> I thought maybe one of them missed for a second there. Could, could you jump in the water, maybe? Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Yeah, you can jump your sprint distance, you can jump into the water so you get cooling oh, and you can boy? almost back like Just stay out of the fu- Oh, 
that thing has a UAC strapped to one of its arms. Reading you. What level of UAC? Affirmative. We're about to see. It's a UAC fuck. Thank fuck for that. Oh, weapons are so. Why did you have to say it like that? Though that sounded so good. Weird. To go. Hey Kenji, you want to want to smack a bitch? Order. Do a precision strike from back here just for the sake of moving its initiative phase back so I can move everyone before the Mad Cat. Commander. Kill the bitch! Targeting for an alpha strike. You're not even doing a precision strike, you're just you're just blind firing. <laughs> I'm receiving you. Ah damn it! My legs are completely no, intact. I'm getting 95% chance from this. Zoe, initiate! Listen up! Oh, oh <laughs> Critical hit, Commander. Reporting you... serious armor loss. Serious armor loss? Uh. Still have a pretty decent armor on the legs. I'm here. So you made it. So wait. So you made it. Oh shit, one leg. Wait. No, not really. It's it's separate into uh, whatever. You mean to tell me that even if you do hit a DFA, it still deals like damage and stability damage to you? Yes, that's the main trade-off. Yeah. Well, at least it's, at least it's a reasonable trade-off instead of what it was before, where it was like, hey, you want that a ten percent chance to hit? Inflict heavy. Oh come on. Oh, of all the targets, the kill. I'll, 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 I'll VIP. I guess all targets technically. eliminated. Sit tight and I can collect you from where you are right now. Mission mm, successful. Mm. Here, uh, Kenji, aim up and shoot a machine gun bullet at him. That should solve our problem. <laughs> He's always aim left, right? He can just shoot him until he dies. It shouldn't be that hard. Better idea. Have the Mad Cat target. Have the Mad Cat target lock its other ends on the on the cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> we had one arm. We had two armor breaches. Actually, we had one armor breach and one one mech cooking. Mmm, <laughs> toasty mech. Um. I don't like you, Razzle Hay, but no way in hell am I giving this up, especially if you're Wait. just going to throw a bunch of Innisphere junk in, into the mechs. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think we need the mech parts, but we do want the clan tag, and that's going to that's gonna mix up our results. Yeah, so what, any other mechs we can make use of, maybe? We can salvage a full, a full mad cat and, and sell it. That's going to give us a lot I of money. Fair enough. I think you just want some guns and stuff. And hey, we got a full. We got a. Wait, what do we? What else did we get? Two clan heat sinks. Clan heat sinks. An SRM six. A clan SRM six and a clan LB two X, which is good because I actually have LB two X ammo. I think. Um, a clan ERM laser mm. and a, a Fenris and a Fenris and Black Hawk part. Black Hawk. Fantastico. Yay! And hey, the the only heavy they had was their VIP, so finally difficulty makes more sense. And it's still not piss easy. Because it's clan tech, so yes. Well, I say it's not piss easy, I'll mix barely suffer the hitch. But... I wouldn't necessarily say that, but eh, fair enough. Wait, you could... Oh, because it's a case mech, so you can, even without prime parts, you could have still made a prime. I do have a prime part, is the thing. No, you have a completed prime. I thought you had no prime parts. It, I do have a prime part. I salvaged one from a mission. I thought I just... Uh, okay, alright. Anyway. <laughs> yes, sell it. Goodness, Fuck! And that was just one mad cat, and suddenly we're rich again. You wanna go on a shopping spree? 
Not yet, Commander. <laughs> well, the Battlemaster's getting some repairs. Goodness fuck. The Raven's getting some repairs. Actually, let me check something. Oh boy. Yes. The I can do without the extra stability and crit. Because... Hot damn. And <laughs> I have two tons more to use now. How... I... Oh, wait a minute. You mean to tell me a Clan LRM-20 is so much more lighter than a 15 that not only can you fit it on a Raven, you can fit it on a Raven and somehow have another two ton spare. How does that... Because by default, 20s are, would be heavier than 15s by, what, like, 2 tons or something like that? If we're just going off the normal versions? I think that's a safe number to assume. So just the fact that somehow it's so much more lighter, you'd have 2 extra tons. Efficiency actually went up, despite the fact that I put an impulse and, and, and a clan of her on this mech. Because oh. he- wait, wait, wait. Your arm is pointless, but you still want to repair it anyways. Uh, yes. No. Shouldn't be too hard. Don't need to keep that structural damage. Mm -hmm. I am actually curious if there's any way I could potentially upgrade the upgrade the Timbal. I doubt it, but um I know if it's hitting, it's sitting pretty. Well, the only thing I could maybe think of is since we took off the head hit chances, maybe just replace a cockpit mod or something. I don't really know what to put in there, to be honest, because it doesn't weigh anything. I just thought it would be neat. Well, but then again, yeah, it's useful. a needlessly, it's a needlessly expensive part that would get lost if the if the pilot had to somehow eject. And I imagine there's other zero ton items that go up there that might prove beneficial somehow. Uh. Technically speaking, I still have have a battle computer I can insert it to any mech I want, but I want to hold off of that. Hmm. This mech doesn't need an exchanger. This mech doesn't need an exchanger. It, 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 it builds 90 heat with an alpha strike and still manages to heat 82 of that heat. <laughs> that's an, that's if this mech even needs to fire all of its weapons at the same time. <laughs> I almost want to say I want to go for two ERMs, but the problem is how do I get those two tons? I don't want to. I don't exactly want to take off the LRM ammo because these fucking things need them. It's not like we can take off heat sinks because now heat efficiency with those two is definitely starting to plummet now. Do I, have an, do I have enough endo steel that I can put on this thing to possibly? <laughs> Definitely not. What little there is left is it's basically useless. So I think we need, no, there is anything we could do. I think it's good enough as is. And it's been hitting pretty good. In that case, I'm gonna leave it as is. I don't need to spend additional time and money to upgrade them, to take something off of this thing. Hmm. Meanwhile, the Harrier definitely doesn't need any upgrades, really, except if I somehow got an LRM 10 plus. No, I didn't, but I do have a new triple plus LRM. It's crit stability, which I guess you could. Yeah, yeah fuck it. There we go. See, now this is where stability might actually be helpful when you're firing this many salvos of missiles. Absolutely, that might just tip the, tip the scales, if you know what I mean. Right, I'll get it this way. Or rather, tip the mech. <laughs> can I actually, can I outfit the Olo with, any, with anything clan-related, or is that just... 
mean, I could, I could give, I could give it a, a clan LB five X, but I don't see a point. Except for maybe having it's, one less tonnage to worry about. It's good at snippery. The mech's good enough. The the PBC double plus and the, and the AC five double plus are, are just fine enough, and this thing's heat efficiency is still through the roof. Which reminds me, actually, I want to take the clan UAC off this thing because the amount of heat that thing builds is ungodly. So I'm putting the AC10 back on and removing the two heat sinks I put on for the sake of this thing having. Wait, how much? How much was this heat efficiency before, though? Um, this much, four, four blips, and now it's full. Okay, because I'm, I'm thinking, because with the UAC20, you're gonna have so much refire penalty that you can't even fire it multiple turns, anyways. 40, so 80 heat with the UAC20? 12 with the regular AC. I mean, that's, that's quadruple yeah. heat. But then you had your two heat sinks on, and because you can't fire it multiple turns in succession, you wouldn't overheat, because you, you, you get massive refire penalties on that thing. So you have to cool off with a punch, anyways. Or just moving. Yes, but what's the point of having that, having having a weapon then that can shoot twice in the same turn, if you can only shoot it every other turn? Burst damage or something. Also, I mean, this, also, this I, 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 cool. at this point, I'd rather have a, I'd rather have the AC twenty that deals twenty additional damage. Honestly, that's just that's just better. <laughs> that, and it has the Komiyabi grapple oh. flames for a reason to make use oh, of them when you punch it. someone. Take them back initiative phases. Anyway, that's gonna be it for me for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, take care, Mech Warriors. Bye bye!